Hey, what is up everyone? Hunter here, or better known as Forever LEGO Studios. I am here on behalf of Empire Log reviewing some new awesome LEGO Star Wars 2022 sets. These sets, of course, will be releasing on January 1st. Um, before we get started, I do want to give a huge thank you to LEGO for sending us these sets to be reviewed early. These are awesome sets that I can't wait to dive into and get to show you guys. Um, of course, starting off, we have the new LEGO Star Wars Snow Trooper Battle Pack, ages 6 and up. Set number is 75320. It has a price at $19.99 as it has 105 pieces in the set. For those of you who are curious that the piece count is not on the box, this is the European box. Again, this was sent straight from LEGO, so it does not have the standard United States uh, piece count as well as information on there. Uh, but first off, I do want to get into a small little gripe with LEGO uh, sending these sets. I do want to clarify that it's not going to be uh, messing with my personal review or personal opinions on these sets, so I'll be getting my honest opinions on these sets. Uh, but my one and only gripe about the set really is going to be that price count. Um, of course, as you guys know, the most recent battle packs have been uh, selling for about $15 each, which is a little high for a battle pack, but uh, with this new battle pack, it's priced at $20, and uh, that's a little concerning to me. Now, I do want to clarify, I love the minifigure selection, I like the little builds that are coming in this set, um, so I'm hoping that the figures themselves are going to be worth the extra $5 for this battle pack. Um, we do, of course, get three of the more recent Snowtrooper, um, which I really do like. The only uh, con to the Snowtroopers that I've had recently is that they don't have the uh, waist cape, it's more so printed on there, uh, but I've learned to kind of understand get used to it uh, but it comes with three of these snow troopers which is really cool because this is definitely uh something you can do for an army build especially if you recently got the new ucs at you can get a couple of these and fill out that interior um but these three figures are awesome as well as you get the new scout trooper which is exclusive to this set and this set alone we actually have never received a hoth scout trooper before so this is a new rendition of the classic uh scout trooper that we know from Endor and a couple other forestry sceneries. So it's actually really cool to see them take a new version of this figure because this more recent scout troopers have been looking fantastic and I can't wait to get to see these figures pop up more, especially with this new Hoth, uh, Hoth style, I guess you could call it. Instead of being the black and white forestry one, we have a really nice gray and white which i think just fits really well with the scout trooper so i'm really excited to get these figures again for those who know me personally i am a huge fan of hoth the battle of hoth is my favorite and of course as you guys know hoth is a very special thing to me especially since i did a large scale battle of hoth so getting the set and i'm excited to build it it's just going to kind of give me memories from back when i uh, first built that mock. So with that being said, I'm super excited to get into this review. So with that being said, let's see what we have in the box. Okay guys, so before we get into the actual build and review of the set, I of course do want to show you guys what you get once you open up the set. We of course have such a small instruction manual. I believe it's the same size as the micro fighter. And then of course we do have two bags that come with uh, the figures and the parts. So I am super excited to get this set built. So let's see what it looks like. Okay guys, so we have the set fully built together, and before we get into what exactly we have, I do want to bring up that small gripe, or really the only issue, I guess you could say, I have with the set, because other than this one issue, the set is great, it's probably my favorite out of this wave, uh, but... My biggest gripe, like I mentioned at the beginning, is the price tag on this set. Um, again, this set is retailing for $20. For those of you who recall, the past couple of years, the battle pack has cost around $15. And the biggest question, especially revolving around this, is, is this battle pack worth the extra $5 to make it $20? And in my honest opinion, I don't really see it. I don't understand or kind of figured out why this set is an extra five dollars from the last couple of battle packs that have been 15 and again i just i don't understand where it's coming from now argument could be made that this battle pack comes with three of the same figure and one exclusive figure which is something that's especially me and others 
in the community really want to see in battle packs three or more of the same figure in the set to kind of army build which again this is a great army build set because you get three of the same snow trooper and then one scout trooper and this also comes in really handy especially if you're wanting to do anything with the snow trooper whether it be hoth or any like snow covered planets that is ruled by imperial forces so it is a great set that comes with great figures but I don't, I don't believe that the inclusion of three of the same figures with one exclusive is a logical reason to up it the extra five dollars because the set is only 105 pieces. Now the part or the set itself isn't that bad. I like the speeder bike and I like this little turret mount. Um, the snow mount, er, snow mount, you can take it or leave it. It's just kind of there. Um, but in my opinion, I'm not seeing the extra five dollars within this like if you would told me this was fifteen dollars i would have completely believed you um but that's again that's my really only gripe about this set other than that i think it's fantastic and with that being said let's get into the minifigures all right guys so the figures are in the lineup again the set comes with four minifigures three of the same snow trooper the only difference between these three snow troopers is the head underneath them and this one has a longer blaster than the other two um, again, this is the more recent Snow Trooper or Imperial Snow Trooper that we have been receiving the past year or so. Um, again, really nice figure, really like the detail. My only issue with these new Snow Troopers is that it doesn't actually have a waist cape and it's kind of printed on there. Uh, the detail on it looks nice. Again, it works really well for the Snow Trooper. It's just a personal taste. I really do miss the waist capes, but it's honestly not that big a deal again some of these figures have different faces uh, face prints on them this one's got a more you know angry looking smirk pretty looks pretty good um again all three of these figures are the same exact when it comes to detail the only difference is the head print underneath and the same goes with this one same printing everything's the same except the head underneath so again it is great to have three of the same figures especially when it comes to army building something a huge thing for battle packs that's something that i personally love especially when i decide to army build battle packs it's really nice to get uh two or more of the same figure in a battle pack just because it saves a lot especially when you're mock building and of course we do have the last and exclusive figure to this set this is the scout trooper uh, in his Hoth uniform, and the detail on this guy is really nice. Again, compared to the recent ones, the more accurate to Endor, this guy looks fantastic. The printing on his torso, the printing on his legs, including the little hose on the back of his backpack. Again, just such an awesome looking figure. Again, I'm really digging the uh, different color scheme towards the Scout instead of having the just plain black and white uh, that the normal scout has like I'm really digging the light gray mixed with white it just comes off really nicely um, you have a nice looking angry or a more serious looking face uh, underneath it but again I love the new scout trooper helmet mold that's been coming out one of my favorites but not gonna lie I really do love these figures and I can't wait to get a ton of them Moving on to the builds, we first have the small little turret that we have for the Imperial Stormtrooper. Again, not too bad. It's actually utilizing that new stud shooter that um, we all have been seeing. And honestly, I actually dig the new design compared to the stud shooters that we've been getting the last few years. Um, just because, it, in my opinion, this one just fits well especially with uh star wars universe the old stud shooters as you guys know just kind of seemed off especially in certain sets um i don't know it's just me but this actually seems to be fitting and it actually fits really well with some other sets that you'll be seeing here soon and uh of course you have the same mechanic as the old ones do you push down on this little trigger right here and bam i don't even know if you saw it go flying off um, just because it's actually pretty powerful and shoots pretty fast. But luckily, you get a couple extra studs to go with it so you can reload. Um, again, a really nice little stand it's got. Um, it's got one of those tri-pieces that holds the blaster pistols to kind of build a little tripod-esque. And uh, not going to lie, pretty good, pretty good turret. 
Next, of course, we have the speeder bike. Now, I'm, of course, using the Scout Trooper as example on top of the speeder bike. I really do like this. If I'm correct, it's the same design that is used for the UCS ATAT, -AT, and you can actually, if I'm correct, you can actually fit a second one of these inside that ATAT. -AT. So that is a kind of another little extra Brits if you're uh, trying to convince yourself to get this set. It'll be really nice next to the uh, newly released UCS ATAT. -AT. Um, overall, the speeder is actually really nice. I like the little detail and upgrade that it has uh, to the Bark or Scout speeder, I guess you could call it. It's got the little um, foot panels, even though the, you know, the Lego figures can't really reach down there for their legs. Um, I really like the back seat um, on this. Overall, I really do like the speeder bike. Probably my favorite build out of this set. And uh, honestly, it looks really cool, especially with the Scout Trooper on it. Um, it kind of just makes me want to build a bunch of these. And lastly, we of course have the little snow mound. Again, this thing kind of just is here in my opinion. It's not uh, nothing really special. It's just a little mound of snow that has a bunch of slopes kind of mixed into it to kind of give some hoth terrain. Again, this is something that I could take or leave. Not a big deal, but extra parts if you like. So with that being said, let's get into the final thoughts of the video. Alright, so overall, this set is a really great battle pack. Um, again, minus that $20 price range, I think this is such a fantastic battle pack. It comes with great minifigures, army building figures, in my opinion, um, as well as a fantastic looking scout trooper. Again, I'd highly recommend picking this up on January 1st when it releases. Now, of course, this is my personal opinion. If you guys aren't too big on the Hoth side of things, um, I think this fits in really well, especially with that newly released UCS ATAT. -AT. Um, again, I could see getting a bunch of these. If not, if you're good with one, you still get a decent amount of troops. You get three snow troopers and a scout trooper. So even if you decide to just pick up one of these, you still have a decent amount of new storm troopers, um, as well as if you want to get a bunch of these. Again, I might recommend waiting to see if Amazon or lego goes on sale to see if you can pick these up for a cheaper price than twenty dollars um but i would not complain if you decide to go out and get five on the first day because this is such a such a great battle pack in my opinion it's definitely again giving me memories from the old hoff mock and uh not gonna lie it's kind of giving me uh inspiration to build a little replica for my old uh hoff pile so with that being said again i do highly recommend this set Again, huge thank you to LEGO for sending these sets to us to review, and I hope you guys have a wonderful and great day.